We have a reservoir here that has a very unique history here in Utah, very near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. Strawberry Reservoir, the receiving body for this stream, uh, is the most heavily utilized cold water fishery in the state. Why we chose the Strawberry River to focus on is twofold. One is because early reports done by other federal agencies have determined that most of the sediment that's coming from this whole entire valley comes from the Strawberry River. The second aspect was that in um, water quality analysis, we found that the Strawberry River also transported most nutrients down to the reservoir. What we ended up with was a stream that had less vegetation on the banks and we had more raw banks so when we'd have the spring flows we would have bank failure which means that the banks were falling and sediment was being dropped into the stream and transferred down to the reservoir. That allowed a lot of sunlight to uh, enter the stream heating it up and we would see uh, temperatures that would get high enough in the summer that it would kill any of the cutthroat that were in our streams. What we were really trying to do was put in those softer fixes so that the vegetation could come back. We would buy it enough time to reestablish and then it could do its job and we would leave as little long-term impact from our stabilization as possible. We're getting what everybody in the partnership wanted at the end, water quality fish. That's huge to me. We've ex super exceeded our goal and what we wanted. When I came out here with my son and he was fishing and catching fish in the stream with a fly rod, that to me, that would probably be the favorite part, seeing the end results. We did good work.